Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 26th of 2023 well, it is titled Active Galaxy NGC 1275. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of an active galaxy. And an active galaxy will be, look a little bit different in many cases than an ordinary galaxy. And we can see that here where this does not look distinctly like an ordinary spiral or elliptical galaxy that we are used to seeing. An active galaxy can differ from an ordinary galaxy in a couple of ways. One of those is that it emits more energy than a typical ordinary galaxy of a similar size. And the other is that it emits different types of energy. Typically a galaxy emits a lot of visible light because it is the combination of the light of many billions of stars. However, a active galaxy will give off a lot of X rays, very high energy, as well as very low energy radio waves. So it gives off different types of energy types that are not generally given off by stars and is generally attributed to the supermassive black hole that is present at the center of nearly every galaxy. And that material during collisions, that black hole will accrete material. It will spiral into the central disk of that galaxy. Uh, the central black hole to create an accretion disk around it. And as that material spins around the black hole, it will then generate energy It will be heated up to extremely high temperatures, which can give off a lot of x rays. Now radio waves are generally can be attributed to very low energy processes. However, they can also be formed in high energy as well. And that is when uh, electrons are accelerated to very high rates and are accelerated along magnetic field lines. They can give off intense radio emissions that are also prominent within these active galaxies. So it really comes down to that supermassive black hole at the center, which is the source of energy of an active galaxy. Now within this image, we also see all these very interesting filaments coming out from the center. And those are an interesting uh, topic of research to figure out why they're being held together. Because you would think that collisions would destroy these as galaxies continue to collide. These filaments should not be able to withstand that kind of intense interaction. So trying to figure out perhaps they're held together by something like magnetic fields uh, that are coming out from the central regions of this active galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for January 26th of 2023. It was titled Active Galaxy NGC 1275. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.